what what do you think gave you like the entrepreneurial spirit to take on such a big challenge as co- producing a clothing brand? You said it's the most, it's the craziest um, competitive thing in yeah. the world right now. So it's like trying to co- produce something that can keep up with the competition is like, that takes a real entrepreneurial spirit. Of course. So when do you think you best at that? Or how do you think you built that? I, I, if I'm honest with you, I know exactly what you're saying. What I just believe it is to be is my belief system. My belief is that I... I'm going to do great things. So because my belief is so strong within myself, my belief in myself, even when things don't go right within the business, I don't ever lose belief. I never lose belief ever because I think once you lose belief, bro, everything can fall apart around you. Belief for me is the foundation. I, for me, my belief system is my foundation. My, whether it's going to be, I know with battle, but whether it's going to be anything, whatever it is that I'm going to do, I'm gonna be successful. And I will not accept any other outcome. But how do you think how do you think that's installed in you? When was that installed? Why was it installed? Like I I, I feel exactly the same thing and I can talk about it, but when when do you think that and why are you like that? What built you that way? Yeah, for the other young kids listening who are, who want to achieve something, they think I wanna be great. What what mechanism was it in you that made you think like I'm gonna be I'm gonna do this? If I'm honest, I think like when when you are someone that's around other competitive people, other 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 young boys, especially in school, you know, I always knew that I was like I said, I was a bit light. There was a bit. I had this thing in me, and the only thing that I can put it down to is that, like I said to you, is the fact that the fact of that I've always wanted to be something. I've always wanted to be somebody. So for me, it's believing that you're gonna be somebody. I've always believed because I just look at it like, if he can do it, then I can do it. And if he can do it, then what is, what is, he's, 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 he's only human, bro. He's only human. So if he's only human, and I can implement a similar strategy or the same strategy, or I can implement pull f- something from what he's done, then it's it's inevitable that something's gonna come. And I said an analogy years ago, I said, look, if 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 we if if the stars are flying up and we're aiming for the stars, bro, yeah. I need to be a star that flies. And if my target is all the way up here and I get Halfway, but I believe I can get there. Even if in the end I only get halfway, halfway is so further than from where I started. Do you get what I'm saying, bro? Yeah, I think the the generic version of it is uh, if you aim for the moon, you'll hit the stars or something. Something like that. Along, along them lines, bro. And it's that it's that man. We you know we have to we have to believe in ourselves and we have to be better, man. We've got we've got next generations to to impact, and whether you have children or not, you, there's gonna be younger people around you, and there's Human beings, our purpose on this earth is to pass, up, pass on knowledge. Uh, I mean, I'm surrounded by winners, is yeah. how I describe it. And every winner that I meet and every person, I, yeah, everyone I have on the podcast is a winner doing of well. Course. So I'm, you know, but every time I have that conversation and I talk to them, that you see the same thing like you're saying, they're only human. Okay, I, I had a guy on the podcast maybe last month. He's got a 10-figure business, 10 wow. figures, bro. Wow. And I was saying to him, Impressive. He's, just, he's just some dude from Derby who just kept going, kept working, kept doing, kept pushing, like he said, believing he was going to do it and all these sort of things. So I think having these concepts in your brain or these, this, you know, it's it, it, there's nothing special about all these people that you're nope. looking up to apart from the fact that they never stopped and they never finished and they kept pushing and they kept going. So I believe it's inevitable that you're going to achieve what you want to achieve with whatever it's going to be course. as long as you you know, are a dangerous rival and you keep pushing forward and then there's no way that you cannot achieve what, what you're going to achieve. So I believe that about myself. I believe about the people that I see. And I think we had that conversation in Abu Dhabi. The only reason I even had that conversation with you is because I can sense we have that connection and we understand each other. And the only reason I sense and understand that is because of energy or something you want to explain. Unexplainable of force. But when I, the more winners I meet, the more I realize it's possible. And, and, and you said that you have a, like a financial goal in mind that you're, you'll be able to support your family or your generations to come. And my only advice 
would be like add a zero onto whatever that is because yeah. the, the the more zeros you add, the more likely you are you're going to like you just said. The if start. you're aiming here, let's aim here, and you're going to get. Yo, believe it. Least. That number is a high number. Yeah, I know it's that a number is a high number, boy. Let's, you know, let's push it and make it. And that's high. why now, and that's why now I'm into two other projects as well. Like I, I, I was speaking to you earlier about what we're doing now in the crypto space, and obviously, um, you know yourself. Um, I, I work with Mike Hales and the guys at D Hub and. They're a very, very special team in understanding that the actual that actual space, and we've we're working on on a new meme coin at the moment, which is kind of going to give utility and charity, and it's a meme coin, and it's about a bomb shelter it's called Bomb Shelter in You. It's an amazing idea created by um, one of the founders, Mal, and um, our aim is to build community bomb shelters, bro, and that's what we're working towards, and we actually have got. Um, agreements with, with like some some of the top um, bomb shelter builders in the world. That if we you know we hit our goals and our and our and our um, targets, that we're actually going to be doing that. And that's something that's a this project that's going to launch very soon. So it's something that I'm kind of I'm very passionate about because at the end of the day, I believe you know the world's going in in a crazy way, bro. And you know I'm not I'm not a specialist in the area of. Um, everything that's happening, but I'm 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 keeping myself in tune, man. I'm not I'm not being I'm not being too far away from what's going on. And for me, you know, this project that we're working on, it's an amazing project, bro. And um, it's got it's got a lot of people interested, a lot of people excited.